are you ready to live in Mia Gott's world? Because she's taking over ours and the invasion continues in Pearl, the prequel to T Toy West's X horror movie and A24's impromptu first stab at creating a horror franchise. Gott co-wrote this with West in a prequel that the pair concocted over FaceTime during COVID quarantine ahead of filming X. The original movie saw Gott play both the lead protagonist and antagonist as a group of adult film uh, filmmakers uh, journey to a rural farm to to film a shoot that went horribly wrong. A24 tends to go one of two ways with their horror projects, either satirical comedies like Bodies, 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 or you get otherworldly surrealism like Midsummer. Uh, X had elements of both, and while its characters were intriguing and raised questions that did inspire it to become a trilogy, it felt like it hadn't firmly found what it was supposed to be. Fortunately, having got come in and the scripting process seems to have helped and Pearl is a much more concrete realized vision and is leaps more effective and entertaining as a movie as a result. Pearl is a prequel telling the origin story of X's killer with Maxine with three X's by the way for what it's worth to follow later in the year providing a sequel for X following Got's final girl from the original. Pearl is set in 1918. We meet uh, the title character, Pearl, played by Gott, who feels isolated living in the farm that we come to meet her in in X, helping her blunt and awful cruel mother care for her infirm father, waiting for her husband for, to return from the war, while also trying to isolate from the rampant Spanish flu. The circumstances seem to be taking their toll on her mentally, who, as she dreams of one day becoming a big screen scar star and getting out of a rural kind of isolated landscape and we're left to ponder a nature versus nurture question as we see that she has a predilection for giving in to some of her most violent impulses but the question kind of becomes was she born this way or did this cruel world do it to you the movie, particularly uh, the early scenes, gave me shades of the earlier episodes of One Division, as it presents very much as a homely homage to classic movies with an undeniable sense of doom lurking very close to the surface throughout because we see the primary character is a deeply fractured, broken individual at odds with the idyllic backdrop that they're inhabiting. For example, Gotham West originally wanted to shoot all of this in black and white to reflect the period movies they were paying tribute to. A24 shot that down, so they went in entirely the other direction towards a dazzlingly bright technicolor palette, almost distractingly so. So that not, not only makes the movie visually delicious, but also gets you thinking about how much of this is based in reality and how much are we experiencing as Pearl's twisted perception of reality. The plot takes place over a relatively short period of time, with the emptiness of Pearl's day-to-day -day life allowing us to spend long periods with her in real time. That allows us to kind of rest in the mundanity so we feel that we can empathise with what is driving her slowly insane, because there's long periods where we just get to spend time with her and learn to think like her, and then see the deviation for how we'd feel in the situation goes from how she perceives that same situation. In particular, uh, I'll mention, I'll just say the word scarecrow for anyone who's seen it, and that is kind of the highest illustration of that kind of deviation that I'm speaking about. The moments between moments, like it's just waiting in line for her for an audition at one stage with nothing happening except the casting director calling next, builds tension and urgency for payoffs which may seem campy or over the top in other hands but are completely earned here. There's an incredibly sinister side to this movie but unlike a lot of other modern horrors which tend to spend half the movie building tension and then just dive into the deep end giving us an uneven mix which feels like a bit shark jumpy. Uh, everything that transpires here feels natural because it's all character driven and got breeds a sense of realism and life into Pearl, no matter how kind of crazy the scenarios get. In particular, at one stage, Gott gives us a seven-minute monologue, including a five-minute one-shot with no cuts throughout, uh, where she word vomits her character's entire motivation and internal thoughts, and that may be the best acted scene that you're likely to see this year. In case you can't tell, I absolutely love Pearl. Whereas Gott was a trendy name known as much for her brand as her ability, this is a total against type role and between this and X, she's shown that she's capable of stepping up to any acting ask and delivering with change. She's going to be a superstar for decades to come, I'm absolutely sure of it. And these movies will be what we point to as her star making turns. I highly recommend that you get in on the ground floor here and check this out ASAP. You don't even need to have seen X, you can jump into this and kind catch up with all of that later although it is currently on prime video if you want to check it out and i do recommend you watch it it's a good movie and it'll kind of set the scene as well uh, but i feel that they knocked this one out of the park here and i cannot wait for infinity pool next week uh, maxine later this year and pretty much anything got has lined up in future